Good evening. Thanks for looking in. I'm Morella Porter. We're glad you chose Fox 10 News at 9. Lee Peck has the weekend off. Our top story tonight, the Alabama Crimson Tide rolling on to the second round of the NCAA tournament. A fast moving face off surviving the Iona Gales. And it's good for Iona and Alabama facing off in the first round of the NCAA tournament this afternoon in Indianapolis. A tight game throughout the first half. For a while, it looked like the Gales might pull off the upset. You know, defensively, we didn't come out. I don't think we came out uh, how we should have, and we didn't we didn't make a lot of shots. But the effort was, I give the effort an A, but I, like our overall performance, I think it was a C. The Tide up 33 to 32 at the break. And we knew coming in, it was a really good team. We just, you know, stuck to what we were going to do, follow the game plan, and, and things turned out way, and we, we got up with a win. Alabama turning up the heat midway through the second half, scoring 11 points in a row with no looking back, slamming and stealing their way to the top. Herb Jones, the SEC Player of the Year, showing out. Jones with the steal, drives in, and the flush! Leading all players in the game with 20 points, securing their spot in the round of 32 in style. Alabama wins 68 to 55. Now talk about a hard earned victory. Alabama will face Maryland in the second round on Monday. An exact time has not been determined. All right, what a day we had. It was a gray day. <laughs> Couldn't quite shake those clouds pretty much all day long. We stayed uh, cloudy really throughout the day, but the way it worked out here for us on our Saturday, temperatures weren't too bad. Those clouds made things feel a little bit cooler right now. 63 in Mobile, 65 Brooklyn Field. Uh, that was the highest day, I'm sorry. The average high would be 72, so definitely below that. Here are the current temperatures in the upper 50s generally right now. 59 in Mobile, 58 Lillian, 60 in Orange Beach, 50 in Evergreen here right now, and 56 in Crestview. So it's coolish outside right now, but certainly not cold for us this evening. Here's the satellite radar. It's uh, it's clear at the moment. Look at that. Those are the last of the clouds kind of working their way out. Finally, yeah, sunsets, clouds go away. How it worked out for us today. Big picture, there's a little area of low pressure off the east coast of Florida and there's some rain over that way. But for us, things are quiet. No worries about any rain tonight. There's those clouds on the future cast just going away. So we wake up tomorrow morning. Things look pretty good. A few other clouds try to roll in from the east. So looking pretty good though for us tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful day. Here is your planners. We go through the overnight hours into tomorrow morning. We'll wake up to temperatures well down the 40s. So that's uh, below normal for this time of year. So it'll feel chilly if you have to get up early on your Sunday. If not, wait it out, drink some coffee and uh, let the temperatures warm up a little bit because we do start out chilly. That is the top headline here for us tonight. Tomorrow afternoon it will be sunny and very, very pleasant here for us. And then we look ahead to the work week and heavy rain possibilities coming up for parts of the week. I'll break those down for you what we expect coming up in just a few minutes.